Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Daly coming on for a reading lesson today. We are going to listen to a story read aloud on YouTube about baby animals. Um, and we'll talk about the story while we read it. And then we are going to do an activity where we guess what animal Miss Daly is thinking of based on some features that we hear. And then we're going to answer some questions about the story, um, some story element related questions. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull up the video. And we will get started. Now remember, good readers have their ears open, their mouths are closed, and their eyes are on the story, okay? Let me make it big so you can see it, and we will get started. Alligator Baby by Robert Munch, illustrated by Michael Marchenko. One night, Kristen's mother woke up and yelled, A baby! A baby! I'm having a baby! So, so far we have Kristen as a character and we have the mom um, as well, who's having a baby. Kristen's father jumped up, zoomed around the room, got dressed, and grabbed Kristen's mother by the hand. They ran downstairs to the car and drove off really fast. The room! So now we have another character. We have Kristen's dad. So we have our character, Kristen, who we haven't seen yet. And then we have mom and dad. And if you look behind here, where are they driving out of? Yeah, they're driving into the zoo, right? So that might be a clue as to what's gonna happen, but it's also our setting. Where are they? What is the setting? They're at the zoo. Fortunately, they got lost. They didn't go to the hospital. They went to the zoo, but it was okay. Kristen's mother had a lovely baby. Then they drove home and knocked on their front door. Blam, 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 blam. Kristen opened the door and there was her mother holding something all wrapped up. Kristen, she said, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh yes, said Kristen. So Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket. What do you think she saw? So mom had the baby at the zoo and she said everything was okay. She has a wonderful baby now. So what do you think that Kristen's gonna see under the blanket? I want you to take a minute and turn to whoever you're watching with, or you can look at Miss Daly and tell her, what do you think is gonna happen under the blanket? What's it gonna look like? Yeah, those are some good ideas. So it could look like Kristen and her parents, right? Because she did have a baby out of mommy's belly. But remember, let me get my little highlighter out so you can see where my um, pointer is. Remember, our story is called Alligator Baby. So I'm kind of thinking that this baby might end up being an alligator inside of the blanket. Thumbs up if you agree with me. Okay, that's okay. We all have different opinions. So let's see what happens and um, we'll find out. She saw a long green tail and said, that's not a people tail. Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket, saw a green claw and said, that's not a people claw. Kristen lifted up the top of the blanket, saw a long green face with lots of teeth and said, that's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. Now Kristen said her mother, don't be jealous. So if you could look where my red pointer is, you can see the alligator tail there. And Kristen's describing this baby brother as having a long green nose and claws and a long tail. So I'm thinking we were right. I think it's a baby alligator in there. Let's see what happens next. Just then the baby reached up and bit Kristen's mother on the nose. She yelled, ah! Then the baby reached up and bit her father on the nose and he yelled, ah! That's not a people baby, said Kristen. That's an alligator baby. Goodness, said her mother, we've got the wrong baby. So they have an alligator baby because she went to the zoo and had her baby and they brought home the wrong baby. Let's see what happens next. 
So Kristen put the alligator baby into the fish tank and her mother and father drove back to the zoo. They came back in an hour and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. Kristen opened the door and her mother said, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh yes, said Kristen. So what kind of baby do you think it's going to be this time? Is it going to be a baby brother like Kristen or is it going to be another animal? Yeah, I think so too. Let's see what happens. Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket, saw a fishy tail and said, that's not a people tail. Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket, saw a flipper and said, that's not a people flipper. Kristen lifted up the top of the blanket, saw a face with whiskers and said, that's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. So what kind of animal are we thinking this is? It has a fishy tail and it has whiskers on its face. What kind of animal are we thinking? Yeah, I think a seal too. Let's see what they say. Now, Kristen, said her mother, don't be jealous. Just then, the baby reached up with its flipper and flapped her father's face. Whap, 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 whap. He yelled, ah, it's a seal baby. We've got the wrong baby. So Kristen put the seal baby in the bathtub and her mother and father drove back to the zoo. Oh my goodness, they got the wrong baby again. So this time they got a baby seal. It had whiskers and flippers and a fishy tail. So now we have a baby alligator in the fish tank. We have a baby seal in the bathtub. Let's see what happens next when they go back to the zoo. They came back in an hour and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. They said, Kristen, would you like to see your new baby brother? Oh, yes, said Kristen. She lifted up the bottom of the blanket, saw a very hairy leg, and said, that's not a people leg. She lifted up the middle of the blanket and saw a very hairy arm and said, that's not a people arm. She lifted up the top of the blanket, saw a very hairy face and said, that's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. All right, so we have a little guy here. You can see his feet, and he's really, really hairy. But his feet kind of look similar to people feet. So what kind of animal do you think this might be? Yeah, I think that's a good guess. Let's see. And I don't know if you guys have noticed there's a seal back here in the bathtub. You can see him splashing and making a huge mess. And their cat is like, what is going on, people? <laughs> Now, Kristen, said her mother, don't be jealous. Then the baby reached up with it. You guys were right, it's a baby monkey. <laughs> its feet and grabbed her mother's ears and her father's ears and they both yelled, ah, it's a gorilla baby. We've got the wrong baby. Let me do it, said Kristen. So her mother and father put the gorilla baby on the chandelier in the living room and Kristen went off to the zoo on her bicycle. So now Kristen's going to First Kristen looked in the snake cage, no people babies. Then Kristen looked in the wombat cage, no people babies. Then Kristen looked in the elephant cage, no people babies. Then she stopped and listened. From far away she heard, "Where?" Well, Wah, 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 wah. That's more like it, she said, Kristen. She followed the sound. It was coming from the gorilla cage. So she's listening for her. Kristen looked at the mommy gorilla and said, Give me my baby brother. The gorilla jumped away and wouldn't give the baby back at all. Did you see where the baby's in the gorilla's arms right here? She thinks that's her baby. Then the people baby reached up and bit the gorilla on the nose and the gorilla yelled, ah, and handed the baby to Kristen. Kristen <laughs> jumped on her bicycle and pedaled home. Kristen knocked on the door, blam, 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 blam. When her parents opened it, she said, would you like to see your new baby? Kristen's mother lifted up the bottom of the blanket and said, look, 
people legs. She lifted up the middle of the blanket and said, look, people hands. She lifted up the top of the blanket and said, look, a people face. Kristen's mother picked up the baby and gave it a big hug. Her father took the baby and gave it a big hug. And her mother said, Kristen, Kristen, you got the baby back. Good for you. But what are we going to do with all these other babies? Yelled Kristen's father. There is a seal baby in the bathtub and an alligator baby in the fish tank and a gorilla baby hanging from the chandelier. We should take them back to the zoo. But Kristen looked out the window and said, What do you think she saw out the window? Yeah, maybe some of the other baby's mommies are coming to get them, just like Kristen went to save her baby brother. Let's see what happens. I don't think we'll have to do anything at all. <laughs> you see all the moms are there to get their babies. And everything was okay. Un so now you can see all the moms with their babies. And they have features that are similar, like we've been talking about this month. So the baby seal has the whiskers and the flippers like his mommy. The baby alligator with the long snout that's green and the long green tail. And then the baby monkey is all hairy like his mommy, right? And her baby brother has a face that looks like the grown-ups and arms and legs that look like the grown-ups in this picture. So you can see that your babies will have the same features as you. That's how you know it's your baby. Until Kristen's mother had twins. Oh no. So next time she has kids, she's gonna have twins, which means you have two babies at once. Oh my goodness. All right, so that was a really silly story. Let's go ahead and move into our activity. My computer's loading because it's coming from YouTube. So here we are. I'm gonna move over. You are going to have to guess what Miss Daly is thinking. What baby am I thinking about based on the features that I tell you? Kind of like in the story, how we listened to the features of the animal and figured out what mommy it had. So I am thinking of a baby animal. Let me turn my spotlight on, sorry. Okay, I am thinking of a baby animal. It has, let's see, it has mm, a tail, okay? So my baby tail. animal has a tail and it has scales. Scales. It has a tail, it has scales. It also has, <clears throat> mm, it also has teeth. Teeth. What is my mystery baby animal? What animal am I thinking of that has a tail, scales, and sharp pointy teeth? Yeah, it's a kind of fish. Good job. It could have also been a shark maybe. Well, not a shark. Sharks don't have scales. What kind of animals have scales? Just fish really, right? or a snake. A snake has a tail and scales and teeth. All right, so that's a fun game you guys can play at home. You can say, I'm thinking of an animal that has brown fur and hands and feet that look like people, and you could guess what kind of animal I'm thinking of. It's a gorilla. All right, so I want you guys to play that game at home to start practicing your colors and learning your features of other animals. But for right now, we are going to talk about this book that we just listened to. It was really good. So what happened in the story? What happened in the story? Yeah, the whole story was about the mom trying to find her baby, right? Because she had her baby at the zoo. So mom is trying to find her baby she had at the and who were our characters in the story? Let's just talk about our three main characters. So we had Kristen, her mom, and her dad. Very good. 
Kristen, mom, dad, and we can say baby brother, or we'll just say babies because there were a lot of different babies. Kristen, mom, dad, and babies. And where were they? There were two settings in the story. There were two places they were. Where were they? Good, they were at the zoo and they were at their house, right? <clears throat> so now we're gonna put our story in order. We're gonna say what happened at the beginning, then we're gonna say what happened next, and then we're gonna say what happened at the end, okay? So in the very beginning, what happens? Good, yeah, Kristen's mom has her baby at the zoo. Oops. Kristen's mom has her baby brother at the zoo. Okay, so after she has the baby brother, she comes home, right? And does she bring the baby brother home? No, right? Her and dad keep bringing baby animals home. So we'll say next, mom and oops, dad bring different baby animals home. And then what happened at the end? How did they find the baby brother? Yeah, Kristen had to go get him at the zoo, right? So Kristen went to, whoops, went to the zoo to get her baby brother. Does that sound like in order of what happened? First, mommy had the baby, and then when they came home, they brought home different animals like the alligator and the seal and the monk gorilla, sorry. And then at the end, she said, that's it, mom and dad, I got it, I'm gonna go get him, right? So that's what happened throughout the story. So I want you to take a minute and turn to whoever you're watching with, or you can just tell Miss Daly, what is one detail from the story? Tell me something you remember that happened in the story. Those are great ideas. I'm gonna write down that um, the baby animal, the babies were all biting the uh, parents that weren't theirs, because that was a fun tale that I remembered. Babies were biting the wrong parent. All right, you guys did a wonderful job today listening to the story and remembering details. Remember, you can do that game at home um, where you guess which animal you're thinking of so you can practice identifying features and working on your colors. It's a great game to play, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I will see you for our next lesson. Bye.